Hi, welcome to your teachers converting fractions to decimals. Now we are looking at the rule baseline 10 numbers. Grab your books, grab your pieces of paper, pens, pencil, pens, highlighters, so you can make some decent notes for yourselves so you can revise for the future. And I will be having some practice questions here, so be prepared to press pause if you need to. Let's go. Right, the baseline 10 rule, make sure you write down your date and title. Baseline 10 rule, what is it? Well, it always starts off with a 10. So if you look at the numbers going down, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, etc., it always starts with a 10. So when you're converting fractions to decimals, it's always easier if you have a denominator that has a baseline of 10. Let's have a look at some simple fractions here. I've got one tenth, five fifths, nine tenths. And each of these denominators here have got a baseline of 10. So these are gonna be far more easier to convert to decimals. If you think you know how to do this, do it now, press pause and have a shot. If not, let's look at what we do. Now let's look at these fractions here. I have got one tenth becomes 0.1. Look at the 10. 10 has got two digits, a one and a zero. We have got space for two digits. We've got a space for a zero and we've got a space for a one. There are two digits. Let's have a look at five tenths, 0 0.5. We've got two spaces there for two digits, a zero and a five. And for nine tenths, we have got space for a zero and a nine. Let's have a look at some more examples. So press pause if you think you know what to do. I've got three digit numbers in the denominators. We have now got 100 as the denominator. So now our answer is going to have space for three digits. Press pause and have a shot. Otherwise, let's have a look at what to do next. We have got three digits if you see i've underlined zero one three just like the hundred we've got three digits one zero zero so here we've got zero one three space again for three digits so we put the 13 on the end on the end one three decimal point because remember it's not a whole number it's part of a whole so we've got zero in front so zero point thirteen have a look at what we've done for fifty five over 100 again we've put that 55 at the end and the zero at the front and over here 94 out of 100 is 94 at the end decimal point here and we've got a zero let's see if you can do the next set so here are some trickier fractions okay so this is one over five four over five three over five now they are not a baseline 10 so how do we do this now we've got to start using our multiplication skills so let's have a look at what to do but if you think you know remember press pause copy down the questions as we go along so here now looking at how to work these guys out I've got one fifth now I'm going to multiply them by two the numerator is multiplied by two along with five the reason why I've chosen 2 is because I know 5 multiplied 2 is going to give me 10. Look what I've done here. I've used different colour pens here because it helps me out, not just because it looks nice, but also because it helps me to work out and see the strategy, looking at it systematically, what step goes next. So if you've got different colour pens, go ahead and use them. If you don't, not to worry, just make sure you're working out. It's nice and neat. So I've got 1 times 2. We're now transforming these to the equivalent fractions to so two tenths is the same as one fifth they look different but remember the value is the same so one times two is two five times two is ten now I can convert finally to the decimal point because it's so much easier now that I have a denominator of ten let's have a look at the next one four over five I'm again multiplied by two because I know that five times two is going to give me a baseline ten number at the bottom as my denominator so eight tenths and that becomes 0 0.8 and again three fifths I'm going to multiply by two again so five times two is ten and three times two is six 
and some more practice. We have now got four over 20, 15 over 20 and 12 over 20. What can you do to the denominator to convert them to fractions of a baseline of 10? So if you think you know what to multiply the denominator by, then go ahead and do it now. Press pause and have a little think. Otherwise, if you need a hand, let's have a look at what to do next. So here I'm going to multiply by 5 because I know 2 times 5 is going to give me 10. Therefore, 20 times 5 must give me 100. So again, I've used my green pen here to work out what I'm going to be multiplying them by. So the numerator and denominator are going to be multiplied by 5, converting it to 20 over 100. Now, hey presto, I can now convert it to decimals. 15 over 20 becomes 15 times 5, 20 times 5, and that gives me 75 over 100. Now I can convert it to decimals, 0 0.75, and I've got 12 over 20, and again, multiplying by 5 gives me 60 over 100. And again, it's so much more easier now to convert to decimals. Let's do some more. I have now got here 4 over 25, 15 over 25, and 12 over 25. Do not fear if you don't think you know how to convert these to a baseline 10 rem uh, number. Remember, 25 times 4 gives us 100. Okay, so if you think you can do this, have a bash now, press pause, and have a go. If not, remember, let, we can always do it together. So 4 times 4 is 16, 25 times 4 is 100. So 25 times 4, your forever rule, make sure you remember this forever. 25 times 4 is always going to give us 100. And so that's what I'm doing with all of them, okay? So 16 over 100, 60 over 100, 48 over 100. And look, look how easy it is now to convert these into decimals. I have got some more here for you to practice with. It's now your turn. I've got a small mixture here of what we've just been doing. Don't forget the baseline 10 rule. It's great fun if you know how. Press pause whenever you need to. Rewind and have another bash. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's always fun when you know how. So practice makes perfect. Please be in touch if you've got any questions or if you'd like to see the other videos or practices that we can help you with.